625 on the clock, and January is Cervical Cancer Awareness Month. And coming up this Friday, the YWCA is hosting a luncheon with information on cervical cancer, how you can prevent it, and the HPV vaccine. Here this morning to talk about the event is Heidi Kaufman, the program coordinator for the YWCA Women's Cancer Program. Good morning, Heidi. Thanks Good for coming morning, in. Liz. Thank you for having us. Talk a little bit about cervical cancer and why women should be informed and educated about this issue. Well, cervical cancer is one of the most preventable cancers, and that happens when we get our pap tests. Mm -hmm. um, doesn't have to be yearly, but it does need to be whenever your doctor tells you you need it. Um, and if it's found early, it's one of the most treatable. And then the really exciting thing for me, as someone who works with breast and cervical cancer, is that cervical cancer is a cancer that we can vaccinate against. Mm -hmm. And there is no other cancer that we can vaccinate against. And right. so um, I'm really passionate about getting out the word that there is a vaccine that can prevent this cancer. And we have this luncheon coming up on Friday. Tell us a little bit about the luncheon and you have some special guest speakers as well. Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, we're really privileged to have Kirk Forbes and Heather Banks come and speak with us. Kirk Forbes was recently on Dr. Oz, oh, wow. um, if you saw him there. Um, and he started the Kristen Forbes Eve Foundation um, and the mission of that foundation is to educate and screen, vaccinate, and eradicate cervical cancer. And he had a daughter that passed away from cervical cancer? He had cancer. a daughter, Kristen, who passed away from cervical cancer in 2008. Um, she had just graduated from college and she was wow. 23 years old. And he's, he's made it his mission. Too, right? And he's, he's written a book um, called Love Kristen, which tells about their journey as a family and her journey with cervical cancer. And then your other guest is actually a survivor from cervical yes, cancer. Yes, Heather Banks uh, is a survivor of cervical cancer. She was diagnosed just after her first son was born. Wow, and the luncheon is gonna be catered by Puccini, so some yes. great food. Mm -hmm. And education, right? You're gonna be able to learn a little bit more about the right. issue. And tell us a little bit about the event. I know it costs about $15, is that Yeah, right? it costs about $15, and um, you just register by calling the Y. Okay. And um, it'll be from 11 to 1, and we'll have our speakers and a chance to talk with them and ask questions. And I'm really looking forward to it. We, we um, give a lot of attention to Breast Cancer Awareness right. Month, and finally we're able to do something for Cervical Cancer Awareness Month. And oh, so right. I'm really happy we can do this. Well, again, that event coming up this Friday, we're going to post that information on our website a little later this morning. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you.